It's time we continue to find out what went on in the past. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster I Shinobi. I'm on Hidden Inventory 3, episode 27 of Jujutsu Kaisen. That is a mouthful. Slowly finding out more and more about what went on back in the day with Gojo, Geto, everybody. And I think getting closer to finding out what exactly Fushigato did. And I'm kind of scared because it can't go well. We're gonna hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub and let's get started. Life could be dream. Life could be dream. Oh, yeah, she's definitely asleep. Oh. Or it's like a mental state. Yeah, I'd... still. Geto, what happened, man? You were with her. Oh, wait. Ah, he dipped and she got, uh, she got taken. Yeah, it's like a hostage. You're not gonna exchange her. Yeah, Amana is not gonna let them... Yeah, like, she's thinking more with her emotions. What, to say bye? I have to feel bad for her because she is still just like a regular human, but the stakes are much higher. What about an Irish, an Irish exit? Have, has she heard of this? But we're going to anyways. Oh, she got serious, serious. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, hell no, I know Twitter's gonna go mad over this. Day two. Are they just relive reliving their memories? Wait, what? Is oh, wait, they already broken and say, oh, I was so lost. Wait, that was so easy. He just kicked him. Okay. Oh my gosh! She literally just flew to her, saved her, and that's it. The pacing of this is immaculate. Travel schedule. Simulate with Tengen after sunset. <laughs> a three-day mission. The only ones. I mean, yeah, the enemy's on a ticking clock, too, if Tengen assimilates. Nanami! Oh my gosh! I knew I recognized that voice. Holy the hair, man! Jeez Louise! I don't recognize this guy. Does he die? Tragically? <laughs> of course he is. He's giving her like nice, like carefree time. Yeah. Boo. So you'd rather spend more time here? Mm. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the time limit on the bounty. Ooh. He's on overdrive. He might be draining himself and just lying to himself. And he puts a lot of faith in Geto. This guy is so excited. <laughs> Man, Gojo just, it's like a dying dog, bro. Like she doesn't have much time left, and, but she knows it. It's incredible how like high spirits she is. He just wants her to have like a, a good last couple days. I feel like I have to have my guard up because it, it can't go that well. She got all dressed up. My God. Damn, they were cooking on the piano. They made it back. Good little vacation. Now Gojo can rest too. Got to, oh, he just let... I think that was him letting his guard down. Oh! As soon as he lets his guard down! Who? Oh, it's Sushiguro! Oh, my God! Oh, hell no! You know what? I catch her that! Oh, when he was younger. Oh, damn. Wait, so he remembered him just from that one look? Damn! Dude! Oh my god, this is the most patient man alive! And he smiles! Oh, 
Sure, okay, yeah. That's a flex. A sword through you. They get a money out of there. Calling back up something. Is the assimilation now? I guess if you said get her to Tengen. I do. I, the Patreon comment said, I do have to think that Gojo isn't as strong as he is as I know him now. This is a weaker Gojo. Oh, damn! A new blade. Bounty was all for show. Prideful bastard! Jeez. He made him feel like he could put his guard down or let his guard down. He's actually five-head. He's putting it into... Oh, he's feeding that? Wait, he puts it in the spear and the new blade comes out? God damn! No, nah, like, uh, for real though, where's backup? Like, can we not get more people? We're introduced too high. Precious Trump card. Gojo's guard is up now, but again, it's been up for so long that he's at like probably a lower capacity. Can't even see him move! So he has no curse energy, but he has like a curse on him. Does it act as like a buffer? That curse spirit on him acts as like a buffer? But then he would read that curse spirit and inherently would read him too. It just looks so slow moving though. I guess it's AoE. A very AoE. What about the sky? Oh, or underneath. Ew! He's making his own cover! Yeah, those act as a buffer. They all block. He senses all that cruise energy. Oh, this was in the trailer that shot Jesus! That was Gojo! He stabbed through his infinity. Holy sh! Oh, God damn! My boy got messed up! Oh, he actually rolled him! Inverted Spear of Heaven? Dude! Oh my god, Gojo got rolled! How did he not die? And they're taking, they're trying to get her to Tengen. I'd be more worried if we didn't know that Gojo lived through this, but like genuinely, how did he not die? Oh, nah, he catches up for sure. She was hesitant. Oh, this is their goodbye. What if the, what if her saying goodbye makes a difference on him catching, him, him, him catching up? Ghetto has no idea what's going on. What about all this changes Ghetto's perspective? If anything is seeing this, if you saw this like this backstory first, you would think that like Gojo ends up being like the evil one. I don't know why, just like the one that gets beaten down. Oh my god! Oh my god! When those who are invited. How long does it take? What? Wait, wait, he's actually offering her a way out? Was he making sure she's ready? That was my question. Like, you find someone else? Fighting Tengen. Would that be like fighting a god? I just don't even know what Tengen looks like. They're saying they don't need Tengen inherently, right? You don't even know what would happen to, uh, like, what Tengen would turn into without assimilating. Don't end the episode, man. They don't go! Oh my god! But guess what? Like he talked it over with Gojo. Like, they were both fine with her, with her not assimilating. Oh, that's so f***ed, man. Oh, hell no, no, that's so f***ed up. Oh 
my god. As soon as it, like she had made that revelation that she could be with everybody else again, it was like a pure, just a cathartic high that she got to live the rest of her life out. And then it just ended just like that. Oh my god. So it wasn't even the fact that they didn't get her to Tengen and it went wrong in that sense. She wasn't going to in the first place. So inherently, Fushigoro didn't even need to come here, right? Because Tengen would have rolled over to the thousand years or whatever, or hundred years and done whatever happens next in the first place. So what does Fushigoro change being here, aside from messing the hell up out of Gojo and maybe Ghetto too? Maybe maybe Ghetto fighting Fushigoro changes things? I don't know. God damn! That is so f up. Uh, yeah, I think we have only two more episodes of this backstory too. So it, it honestly makes sense in terms of the timeline of everything. Amana is dead. Holy sh**. That's my stuff, man. That's my stuff. Charlie, what do you think? She kind of just looks like a, a, a ball back there. Uh, uh, all right. Well, that's hidden inventory three. God damn. JJK not pulling any punches. I'm starting to see why this, this backstory gets so dark, so grim. Bushikido is just taking, taking names, man. That's been it for me. If you do this channel, don't forget to drop a sub and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace.